Hello everyone. In this presentation, we are trying to understand a little more complex situation where the solids are having curvature. You know, like here you can see a cylinder and on that cylinder there is a projection like a canopy. And there is yet another solid that's a vertical one. It's like a plane. So assembly of three uh, solids basically. One is a cylinder, part cylinder and part cube, cuboid, vertical. Then this one, that's the canopy kind of a thing. And this is a vertical slab with inclination. So now this elevation and plan we use to draw psychography. But in this case, we have to also use a side elevation in order to get certain part of the psychography. So to start with, if you take the psychography in the elevation, the most projected portion or the, the part of the object which is much in the front, which is going to cause the shadow on some part of the object in the elevation is this canopy as you can see here. This is at right angle with, with two right angles here and this is a quarter circle kind of thing. So now if you want to draw the psychography of this line or this edge on this curved surface, as this is a curved surface you need to take number of points at certain interval so that you can draw psychography of those points individually and connect that into the psychography. If this was a straight line, then perhaps you have to take only two points at the end. But this being curve, curvature, you have to do like that. So this is what you need, you are supposed to understand from this. Here also this is the same situation. The curved portion psychography is coming on the vertical flat portion. So then also you need to take psychography. Similar exercise you have already done in the beginning when we drew the psychography of planes. So in the planes you have done the psychography of rectangular planes and circular planes, circular disc. So then you understand the principle of this. That when you want to draw the psychography of the curved uh, you know, shape, then you need to take number of points, take the psychography and then join them and construct the psychography curve, whatever way it comes. So, I am going to tell you part by part, I have already drawn it because if I have drawn it while explaining you, it would take a lot of time. So that's why I have already drawn it and then I explained that how I drew it. So this one, two, three, four points I have taken and on this curvature, you also will see, if you see in this elevation, the psychography of this age also falling. this edge also falling on this. So that's why you have to take some points here as well. Now let us first focus on these points. So I have taken one, two, three, four, four points I have taken. Of which the point three I have taken in such a way that that is the last point which will give psychography of this. The points beyond this will not give a psychography of this curve as you can see that this three is more or less in the tangent of tangent to this. So one, two, three and four of course. Four we have taken for some other purpose. So one, whatever, wherever you show one, two, three, even if they are not at a equal interval, let us say, but what's most important is project these positions, actual positions on the elevation. So we project this position one that comes that comes, that is this one. This one is, because you know this is this is a vertical pillar kind of a thing. So this pillar and this slab joining point is one. So that is the one here. So that is the one here. So now that is there only. Two from here we have projected and that is the two here in the elevation. Three, that is the three in the elevation here. Four, that is the 4 in the elevation here. 
okay now project 1 that is this point in the elevation it will come along this line in the plan we project it here so we realize that in the plan it is falling on this curve at this point so taking the help of elevation this line we take this line take this line take this line and here we get one dash so this is point one dash that is the sciography in the elevation on this circular part so that's one point then we go to two similar way two is projected on the plan it strikes here in the elevation two comes like that so from here we take it take it and then wherever it intersects there's the point two similarly point three we project on the elevation which comes along this line in the plan it is here we project it here that comes somewhere here so from here i take it up and then this is a point three then what i do is then i know that at this tangent point at this tangent point i have this portion receiving the light and this portion in the shade this you can very well imagine when we have a cylinder we have a part of the cylinder curved portion which is where the light doesn't reach so that is in the shade so here for this particular angle of light it is this point beyond this it will be shade so you will get in a cylinder a vertical line because it's a cylinder vertical so vertical line where you see that is a dark part this is the light part i think this much you can definitely understand and you know and you have seen it already so this so that's that's the reason why here you will get that line so this is this line so this is this line okay so now i have drawn the sciography of from here to here horizontal edge and beyond this it is shared so that's why this line now this edge is coming here and then there is a vertical edge so sciography of this vertical edge will also come on this so we have already obtained a common point between this vertical edge and this horizontal edge common point is one so one i have received got here and then i know that if this is a one this one is a vertical line so when sciography of vertical or horizontal line falls on a surface which is parallel to that the sciography is also parallel to the actual edge so here the actual edge is vertical this surface is also vertical cylinder so that's why after i get point one i can draw a straight line so this becomes my sciography of this edge okay now after that i take this edge that is which is not seen here but the sciography is seen as you project here in the elevation it is not seen obviously because it is this side edge but that i project here and that edge point is here please see this carefully this point is here so that i project and when this and this join i take it up and this is how i get this point which i have named as a so this here i have named one two three four here i have named a b c b so a projected here that comes here so this line comes as a vertical line because this edge is nothing but another edge of this vertical component so that's why it comes vertical so then i join this and here the shaded portion and now then then what happens after this edge there will be sciography of this horizontal edge like just like this edge there is a another edge on this side so with this direction of light that edge would cause the sciography on this curve and as we are viewing it from here and and as it is curved we will see this part sciography which will be given by this edge so i need to construct this sciography profile by taking again points on this edge just i have taken on this edge also so here a is already there i take b c and d is here only so b c for this i draw a side elevation looking from this side and then here i look at this a which is this one b c and d so b c and d these points i have taken then a i have projected here b i project like that and c i project like this so once i do take this 
Then from here side elevation. If you see from this side elevation, all these points are in one line. So the same line of projection holds good for them. But from here, if I take A, A comes here, B, B comes here, and C will come here. So that will be a very gentle curve coming up here. It's not possible for you to see this very clearly, but when you draft it, you draft it with great patience and accuracy. And using a very sharp line to draw these construction lines, you will be able to see all these three points uh, here. So how I have obtained this ABC here, that is A projected here, and from here this line projected, and then from here A here, and taking this line and this line, that is how you get it. Okay, so making use of this side elevation, this front elevation, and this plan, you will be able to draw it. You should be able to do it if you just uh, apply your knowledge so far you have gained. And if you have gained it, you should be able to do that. So this is like that. Then now, this part of the cylinder is in shade. So this I have drawn here. The upper part also, I show it in shade. So with this, I show the shaded portion of this cylinder from here to here curve. So now I have completed the diagram of this canopy falling on the cylinder. That part is over. As we see from here, as well as I see, see from here. So that's also there. So the cyography of this canopy on the cylinder part is complete. Then now we will go to the cyography of this canopy like thing on this vertical plane. So we know that this vertical plane is projecting at a certain distance and it has a curve. So now to start with this cyography, what we can do is we can now take the points on this curve. So these points you can name them again here. Here we can name them again one, two, three, four, and five. Those points can be named here. And whatever uh, position which you have, this position is taken up. When you take it up, then like this one, suppose this is zero. So that zero point is projected, one, two, three are projected, and then they are joined. Now what you need to understand here is that this canopy projection has got top edge and bottom edge. It has got top edge and bottom edge. Now up to certain portion you will get the cycle of your bottom edge. Like here you are getting the bottom edge. Here you are getting the bottom edge. This you can definitely visualize, I believe. Bottom edge. But at certain point then you will get cycle of your top edge. So like here you get a bottom edge, bottom edge, and then at from this tangent point, you will get the cyography of bottom edge. Uh, sorry, top edge. Now here you will get a bottom edge, and from here you will get a top edge. That means this part after this tangent from here to here, you will get the cyography of top edge. So that difference you can note here. This vertical line is cyography of this edge. And then this top is cyography. So these points 5, 4, 5 and 4, 4 and 5, let us say, these points you have to take from the top. That is 5 and 4. From the top you have to project, not from the bottom, because here, if you visualize this properly, you will know that the cyography here will be uh, taking for the top edge. So here, up, up to here, bottom edge, from here, this vertical line and then it is a top edge. So that top edge cyography 5 and 4 are two points. So they projected and then from here they projected here and take, a, take it up. Then you will get those points and join all of them. Now up from this point to here onwards you have a, you have a horizontal edge which is straight. The cyography of that that is why it will be straight here. So this point cyography comes here. This point is this point. So that has come here. So that I have located. Then this is a horizontal edge. So that horizontal edge is this one. That cyography has come here. But then now here there is an opening. There is an opening here. So cyography of this edge now is not falling here. Like here it has fallen on a vertical surface. But here it will fall on ground. So how to show that on the ground that is now you know that the 
psychography on the ground will be of of let us say uh, the uh, corner of this age that that will give the psychography there so you project that on the ground here for uh, the point point 4 let us say we take one point on this edge to know that where it goes so suppose we take a point 4 that we project here then bring it down here from here point 4 i take so it comes like this. so this is where i get point 5 this means this horizontal edge psychography on the ground will come here so i take this horizontal line and from here what i am going to get here the uh, uh, this inclined psychography is of this line that is where that is where the dark portion starts so from here this line would come and that would go and this horizontal line which represents the psychography a part of this edge that will be here and this part intersects so i get this point and similarly from here this edge will cast psychography so this is how i get this shape psychography this shape profile uh which is of part of this edge psychography coming on the ground so you do it you will be able to uh, know it when you draw it yourself i can enlarge this portion and it will look it looks like this like this this will look like that it will look like this in enlarged fashion so it will somewhat like that it will come so here is that point 4 which is which is taken to know that where that horizontal edge psychography this edge psychography will come so this four point projected here from here four projected here, that intersection it gives then we draw the horizontal line so with this we have completed now psychography of this canopy on semicircular portion on uh, this part and also on the ground that's over now let's take the psychography of this cylinder Uh, sorry, part part cylinder and part cube on the ground. So this is fairly simple comparatively. So you take this point, which projects here from elevation, it comes here. Then bring it down. Then this point comes. Then this point it goes here in the elevation. This will come from here. So you uh, project it like that. Project it like this, and then bring it down. So that is here. so this is a vertical edge that is this one back this is horizontal edge that is this one and this is the horizontal edge again at the top that is this one and and here you get this point that is a jumping of the psychography you know this is a raised portion of the psychography of this over the over this uh, uh circular cube cube cuboids you know part cylinder and part cube so that will be this point is falling here from there we bring it down so this will come like that then it's horizontal that is this horizontal edge from here it jumps and it comes here and then this point psychography comes here bring it down so that is here so this will be going this way this point will be going this way so this psychography is psychography of this edge which is projected on the elevation here then once this is here this is a straight line so you join from here to here and this is the way you get the profile of the psychography of this part of the object as well as this part of the object so that is how you get it there so yes so this is how you draw the psychography and then now this part upper part of the uh, curve portion for this also you can take one two three points here one two three points here which will be seen here and then project them one by one and then you can project it up and draw the psychography here i have not shown it here because it would have been very confusing for you to read this drawing but you know this the fundamental procedure so according to that you can draw this curve i have drawn this curve only just by imagination but you don't do that you actually project the points from here here on to this and same points from here project and then draw the curve so you will know the right procedure so uh, do this